Coach Roberto here with Coach Ronnie, ready to teach the push jerk movement number six. He's gonna grab the ball, make sure he brings it up to the shoulders. He's gonna have his feet about eight to 12 inches apart, depending on who the person is. The elbows are gonna be slightly forward in front of the ribs, core engaged, head neutral, glasses on. From there, he's gonna follow my count. Three, two, one, dip and drive, dip. Making sure you're catching. When you catch this movement, you have to move your feet, always. Good, after that, we're gonna go over a fault. One of the faults is, that's very common, is they'll catch it, three, two, one, go. And they won't bring the feet back, they'll bring the ball down before the feet come back in, okay? And that's a no rep, no rep. Good, ready? Three, two, one, go, good rep. Stand it up, beautiful job. Here, the biggest difference between this and the push press is the second dip and moving your feet. You must move your feet and practice it all the time this way. Ready? Three, two, one, dip, drive, dip. Boom. Catching it at the bottom, returning the feet before the ball comes back down. I'll do it again two more times. One more. And freeze, hold it. Here, make, making sure that the knees stand, the, ball, the feet come back in before the ball comes down. It's a common misconception. A lot of people think that it's over as soon as they catch it, they bring the ball back down. Um, also, three, two, one, go. Making sure that the elbows are locked completely when you land, okay? Not uh, pressing it out as it's coming up. Three, two, one, go. Good. There's a common fault there. The feet didn't move, and it moves really uh, slow, so it was, he wasn't able to express the full power. This movement is, is definitely a quick movement, um, and you want to make sure that you are aggressive, just like the push press. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, stand. Bring the feet back, recover. How's that?